So my friends, in this video, I'm gonna be giving you a step-by-step -step in how you can change your iPhone icons into something a lot more interesting. Now, it doesn't have to be these ones which I'm gonna show you today, it can literally be anything. But I'm gonna give you, in this video, the step-by-step -step process. Don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and click the notification bell to get my next video first. Now you may have noticed that since iOS 14 came out, lots of people have been posting their home screens with widgets and customized icons. Now, this is something which I'm particularly interested in. I always like to see how you can mod your device without going down that jailbreak route. And I think I found the absolute sexiest one out there the other day, and it was this one here. And in fact, I made a standalone video about how you can install this. And it was done by a chap called Attraff. I will leave that video link in the description, but his icons that he designed were paid for ones so you had to actually pay for the icon pack now in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can change your icons to almost anything and it doesn't have to be a paid for pack like his it can be if you want to but it can be something simple in fact it could even be these now, as you can see, absolutely no time or skill has been used in creating these icons. I literally drew them with my mouse and saved them, but, you know, I kind of like them. If you do like them, you can download my icon set from my website, and I'll leave the link in the description for you. Anyway, whichever icon set you choose, the process is going to be exactly the same that I'm going to be showing you in this video. So let's get started with that. Okay, so before I change the icons, another little app that you may be interested in is Widgetsmith. That's one which will create widgets. You can then change colors and things, and it is just quite a good little app. It's free from the App Store, and again, you can make loads of changes once you've got it downloaded. And that is the app which I created the date, but you can do things like have your health settings, your activity. You can have small, medium, or large widgets and they can be placed anywhere on the home screen so that's quite a good one to choose but also obviously there's stock ones and there's other applications which do similar right let's talk you through the process now of changing those icons so the first thing that you're going to need to do is to make sure that the icons that you're going to be using the ones that you're going to be swapping your original icons for that they are saved onto your phone now it may well be that you're using icons from a free site i will leave lots of information about where you can get different icons from again i'll leave those via the link in the description Next, you need to make sure that you've got the Shortcuts app installed. It's free from the App Store, so if it's not there already, make sure you download it. We're going to be using that to do the following. To effectively tell the phone that if the new icon, the one that you're creating, the one that you're downloading, if that is pressed, then the original application will open. So, for instance, in the example on the screen there, if the black Twitter icon is pressed then the original Twitter application will open and it's as simple as that but I'm going to show you that now in some step-by-step -step demos. Once in the shortcuts app click on the plus by the select in the top right corner then click on the add action. That will then bring up this screen. Now click on scripting and now click on open app. Once the next page comes up, you now need to click on choose because we're now going to choose the app that is going to open when we press it. So for this example, we're going to be using Twitter. So go down to Twitter within your applications and click on that. Now click on next in the top right corner. And now we need to give that shortcut a name. To make it easier, we're going to call it Twitter because Otherwise, if you called it something different, you would get confused. But we're going to call this Twitter and then click Done. Now, from this screen, where it says Twitter, click on the three dots, the grey three dots. And then this screen comes up and now click on the blue button with the three white dots. And this will bring up this screen. And we now need to click on Add to Home Screen. This is where we're going to change the photo. So click on the image next to Twitter the one halfway down, and then click on Choose Photo. And now that will immediately bring up your photos. Obviously, the one that you've chosen to save as Twitter will be there somewhere. And, oh yeah, by the way, guys, look at that spider. Freaky, hey? Anyway, let's go back. Where's Twitter? Go back up. Back up. Back up. There it is. Okay, so we click on the Twitter icon, 
and then click on choose. Now you can see that icon is associated with Twitter, so we can now click on add and that's it. It's all done. It's there on the home screen. So if I now come out of this and then go to the home screen, you'll see the icon is there. And if I clicked on that icon, it will take me to Twitter. But I'm going to uh, move it to where I want it on the screen just by pressing and holding like you would do with any other icon. And I'm going to move it back to the front page of my screen, as you can see. And you've still got the Twitter app. If you see the Twitter app is in the bottom right corner, because obviously we've just created a shortcut. So you don't want to delete that app. What you want to do is just hide it from the, from the actual home screen. So don't click on remove app just edit the home screen when you click on edit the home screen it will come up again it will make all of those apps jiggle and now you can click the minus on the top there on that twitter and it will move and click on move the app to the library so the app is still there it's important that you don't delete it but just move it to the library now we can click on twitter the actual new icon and that will take us there you go straight into Twitter. And my friends, it is as simple as following that process for each application. Okay, so you will have to change that for each individual icon that you want to swap. But once you've finished, it can end up looking very good indeed. Now, I've not changed every single icon. I've only changed the main ones that I've used. And as you can see, I've only got two pages here. And then everything else is stored in my app library. So I've only got two pages. I've got um, three widgets. I've got the date on the first page. I've got the batteries. And then I've got the activity. I've got eight applications or eight icons changed on each page so eight on the front page and then eight on this page plus the ones in the bottom bar the ones that I use all the time like um, mail uh, not mail sorry messages my YouTube studio and also phone but other than that guys that is it so my friends, it is quite a simple process. It can be a little bit painstaking, but the main thing is get those icons in the first place. Follow my links in the description. That will take you to some lots of different sites where there's some free icons. And if you really loved my ones that I showed you right at the beginning, uh, they'll be there as well, guys. Thanks for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you on the next.